Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 3. I already watched the Episodes 1 and 2, which were out at the same time. If you want to see my reactions and my thoughts about them, I'm gonna put the links, you know, for the previous videos, but also for the playlist that I made for The Rings of Power Into the Eye. You're gonna find all of my reaction videos for The Rings of Power for the Season 1 and this Season 2 on that playlist and into the chronological order. You can be interested by that. That's it. Now I can take my coffee. Now that I finished, you know, to talk with my aunt like that, like a real French girl. <laughs> I mean, a real French southern girl, maybe more. <laughs> okay, about the two previous episodes, in fact, I feel the same about them, about the fact that I don't know really what we're gonna have during this season in the sense that I have the impression that the rhythm of everything is really not rushed but going faster than what I thought. The fact that end of the episode one we already have the elves you know wearing their rings, that end of the episode two we have already Clebrimbo talking with Sauron about making you know rings for the dwarves and also the men and they are already sending the invitations you know to the dwarves meaning also surely to the men it means that already during this season we're gonna have all of the other rings and they're gonna be given to everyone who is supposed to have them like i'm really i don't know you know really i don't know for the reason for me they're gonna have them you know everyone is gonna have their rings before the episode 6 something like that or maybe at the end only at the end of this season but no matter what it means that the rest of this show, the next seasons, are going to be about something else, are going to be really about the consequences of it. And I did not expect that. Or maybe also, now that I think about it, you know, now that I'm saying out loud this thought, I'm like, maybe in fact, just the writers, they don't know each time if they're going to have one more season. So they are choosing to end each season, like, it can be ended, you know, the, the show can end with that. Meaning that the season 1 ended with forging the first rings, saying, see, it how, it, see, it's how it happened for Sauron to come back and to make that alliance with Kelly Brimbaugh without everyone noticing. It's how it happened. And in fact, we could have not have a season 2 just we would have had, you know, the main thing about how it happened. This season two, if it's gonna be about how each ring is gonna be forged and given to the right person, like if we're finishing the season two with that, the writers can be, that's it, the story is closing right there, we showed you how it happened for everyone to have their rings. Maybe it's for that, in fact. Not knowing if they have one more season, they are not closing everything, you know, during the season that they are writing, but they are writing stuff, so it's not gonna feel like it's not enough, like it's not gonna be left with a big cliffhanger. The story can end right there. Because we know that, in fact, it's not gonna end right there and we can already imagine and know what is gonna happen and we have, in fact, what is gonna happen. Do you understand what I mean? Ah, maybe it's for that, in fact, now that I think about it. But it means also that each time uh, we can't plan what we're gonna have, in fact, in each season, how far are we gonna go into the history with a big H of that universe into each season? So Dulin received his invitation and clearly we saw his position right now into, into everything, like I was going to say, with his family, with his people, into the city, the situation of his people. Like the fact that with his dad they are not talking anymore, they are too proud to, you know, to make the first step, it's not a surprise. 
really being too proud for a dwarf it's almost you know like the definition of of them so it's not a surprise but because of that he doesn't have that role you know that place of a prince and he's working hard into the mine and he doesn't have a lot of money to feed his family so you know for him it's even more humiliating and he's feeling even weaker because of that we have also all of that situation with this city the fact that the lights is not there anymore and they can't have it back and they are blaming you know people are blaming what happened between him and his father for that so for sure receiving that invitation of someone like Helen Brimbo and being recognized as someone important you know like with all of the other kings you know dwarfs kings you have to come it means that you are recognized as someone important and when he's gonna give you the opportunity to do something to bring back your honor to bring back your place into the family but also the entire city and also to bring back good things you know to your people and up and and all of that for sure for sure he's gonna accept it i'm not gonna blame him for that like i didn't blame galadriel when she accepted that ring because i saw that for her she did it because she thought that it would help, it would repair the thing. Even if we saw, and she felt that the ring came for her, you know, in front of her, directly in front of her, was calling her, and also was hypnotizing her, and oh, all of the power that a ring can have on a person. We saw it, and she felt it, but she still accepted it. Elrond accepted to go with her to go after Kevin Brimbor because they are suspecting that Sauron is gonna be back with him and they are right he's already with Kevin Brimbor and he said the truth about not being who he seems to be but he lied and manipulated Kevin Brimbor by appearing differently and by telling him that Diodo is almost the god of the good side. I know. Not god, but really that moment when he appeared like that, it was such a religious, biblical scene. It was really insane. So for sure, for Kelly Brimbo, he can only believe, trust Anatar. Ah! <laughs> and he can just accept to now create other rings for dwarves and for men because he thinks that it's gonna save Middle Earth because he didn't receive the message about the fact that it's in fact so wrong okay I'm gonna stop right there this introduction let's go for this episode remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which you can have these reaction videos for the Rings of Power earlier for each new episode you're gonna have my reaction videos on Patreon on Friday and for YouTube it's gonna be on Monday so it's already a lot of advance and you have another advantage on Patreon the fact that you have two versions you know, of the videos a longer reaction part with the level 2 longer you know in comparison of what I'm posting on YouTube it's already longer with the level 2 and you have the full one with the level 3 if you can be interested by that you have these two advantages days of advance longer or full reaction part if you can be interested let's go for this episode You, Beric, escape, escape, run away and come back later. And you find a way to detach yourself like. 
like that. No sing, no sing, no sing. Oh no! We know that you, you're gonna survive, but I really hope that Beric is gonna survive also. That's why you know I was drinking my coffee and all because we know. You know, to give to that, but come on! It really is a good place, like everyone can see that you're not doing that. Did you just insult my father? No, no I believe I insulted you. I bled with the queen on the battlefield. I watched her walk into an inferno to say. Try and save her brother's life. Just be killed as the queen again. It will be a use of his own family. Have I made myself plain? Oh, I love the loyalty. Will it be settled with still the news? Fair enough for today. Well, I'd say that's worth another ale. What was it you were? Maybe no, no thing. I, I hope so at least. Something. Oh no. Something secret. Did she take it with her? No. Something dangerous. It's not here anymore. She took it. You brought us here to battle Jilvi. These rings will be beyond any power yet devised. They shall be rings of power. Power to heal your mountain, just as they have healed our great tree. Now, Frost. The Mm-hmm. Mithril has reversed our fortune. I believe it can do the same for you, perhaps for all the peoples of Middle Earth. We provide you with a steady supply. Is that for something? Mithril. Ah, that's why you invited them. Or maybe it's gonna take a little longer, in fact. The elder has always been hesitant to accept outside aid. If our proposal was brought to him instead by one of his own. My father I'm not really... mm. convince an orc. It's a sex for a sunbath. I get the two of us in the room together. I'm afraid that'd be of little help. I so love the power. Bringing your father a means of saving his kingdom might be just the way to earn back his respect. I, uh, really? You're talking like that? Directly to the room? Who exactly are you? Yes, forgive me. This is uh, a friend. The others. And the dwarves. Nothing more. I assure you. Harold Elrond said he could think of little else than helping his dwarven friends. He speaks of you so fondly. The so lies, the lies, the lies. He's never mentioned you, Lord. And that's harsh. Elrond said. Trust your instinct, Lulin. Did he speak true? Or is there someone else we should be treating with? What were you thinking? Would you have your own intellect if I was thinking of whoever our own he doesn't know where to run from all of us. Elrond would never say such nice things about me. 
<laughs> yes, but magic works. There's no part of this so strange to you. And then Taurus? Your high king believes the dwarves to be unworthy of this power. In fact, he has forbidden the forging of any more rings at all. The truth is, he does not even know I'm here. It's easy for him to say that, which is the truth now, after telling him during the previous episode that none of the elves took the time to thank him for the first rings. No one cares about him. You're lying. With a promise to join him in Lindor as soon as possible. Oh, but like when he did it, that's like. Hello! Sorry, 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 I'm so sorry. I thought you were an orc. Uh, just look at him. Or just smell him, you know, like. Yes, maybe he just found himself a girlfriend. Yes, I can as well. My patrol. Yes, I'm Naughty like, horse! Oh, oh, I know it! Okay, Robin Hood. I know, I know who it is, but right now it was Robin Hood right here. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> 